The popular TV show South Park, which airs on Comedy Central, recently showed an episode in which they directly insulted our beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They depicted him in a bear costume and uttering things with a strange voice. And this is in addition to an episode which they have already aired, showing him flying around doing all sorts of strange things, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as a direct mockery of him. So please join us in our defense of the Prophet campaign, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and download and re-upload this video and spread the word however you can. First, I want to say thanks for the permission to download and upload this video and spread the word and your message the best that I can or however you wanted to say it, whatever way I can. Um, and believe me, I plan on spreading the message. Maybe not the one you were hoping, but I will be spreading a message. So let's get back to your video and see exactly what else you have to say. Why was Ka'b ibn Ashraf killed? That was the question put to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because there was an agreement. There was an agreement between Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and all of the Yahud. That is well known in Sirah that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when he came to Medina, he had a peace agreement with all of the Yahud. And now Ka'b ibn Ashraf was killed. Why? How come that happened? What did Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam say? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, if he had calmed down like others who follow his opinion or on the same opinion as his have calmed down he wouldn't have been assassinated but he has harmed us and he has defamed us with his poetry and none of you would do this except we would deal with him with the sword rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is saying there are many who have in their hearts the same belief as Ka'b ibn Ashraf. He wasn't killed because of that. So he wasn't killed because of disbelief. He wasn't killed because he hated Rasulullah. He wasn't killed because he, was, uh, he hated the Muslims. No. There are many people who have that disease in their hearts. And we have left them alone. لو قر كما قر غيره. If he had calmed down like other people calmed down, we wouldn't have assassinated him. But he spoke against us. Okay, so let me get this straight. What you're saying here is that he wasn't assassinated because he didn't like Muslims or had a problem with Islam or anything like that. He, he was assassinated because he spoke out against you and therefore insulted you. So what you're saying is that you are a three-year-old. That is a tantrum and a very violent tantrum. Three-year-olds, I know because I have one throw tantrums when they don't get their way, when you tell them something they don't like, when you say something to them that they find offensive. They lash out, they throw things, they cry, they scream, they holler, they, they throw tantrums and that is what you're doing. Yes, I am speaking out against you because of your tantruming ways. Now, I know some people who are Muslim and you know, and, and so far I haven't noticed this behavior from them. It's only from the extremists. And they remind me of kids. They remind me of children. Yeah. Now, when children act out, they usually get punished. Which doesn't seem to be the case here. There seems to be lots of people who seem to think that you can't be punished for... for killing someone because, well, it's, it's part of your laws. Well, your laws do not exist in every country around this planet. I can tell you now here in the United States, I could care less who you think you are. Mohammed himself could come down here and strike me dead, but it would be against our laws to do so because I have not done anything. I haven't even cited violence against you. I'm only criticizing your behavior. And behavior which any person in the world would see as erratic, irrational, and childish. You can't throw a tantrum just because somebody says something that you don't like. End of story. Get over it. So let's, let's watch some more of your tantrum. He spoke against me. 
and he defamed me with his poetry. And then he made it clear to the Yahud, if any one of you, you, Al Yahud, or the Mushrikeen, if any one of you try to defame me through your words, this will be the way we deal with you. There is nothing between us and you except the sword. There will be no dialogue, there will be no forgiveness, there will be no building of bridges, there will be no attempts of reconciliation, there will all be only be the sword between me and you, and he made it very clear. And then he called them to come and sign a document in which they all state their agreement that they will not speak against him.